welcome back to redirecting well I have a story that I'm going to be sharing with you um, it's, a, it's a story that we see from time to time that none of us are no longer surprised by uh, there is a track record that has been established by certain groups of people that you've come to expect uh, this story um, is concerning a, a very bright brilliant young man uh, who had lots of skills and talents and innovations all bottled up into his mind right um, it kind of mirrors another story that I saw a few weeks ago uh, where something very similar happened to someone else um, who had an invention. Uh, these are two black men. And what ended up uh, happening in both cases is the hard work and the um, dedication and the skill and ingenuity of these men were literally snatched right out from under them, okay? I'm not going to focus on both stories, uh, the, the one story of the inventor I'll just uh, touch on just real quickly and briefly. Uh, but this guy, he trusted um, a patent attorney and um, he took the idea to the, the patent attorney, which is what people think they're supposed to do. You have an idea, you take it to a patent attorney and uh, from there, they are supposed to help you get your product to market and they are supposed to be the legal uh, mind behind making sure everything is packaged nicely and presented properly and recorded so that you could reap the benefits of it. But instead, this job time turkey um, took this black man's idea um, as his own and uh, pretty much sold it and shared it with other people and cut this man completely out of it. Is anyone surprised by that at all? This is something that uh, people with no integrity can do uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and they will have no conscience about it whatsoever. But um, anyway, this guy, he lost all of his, uh, his ability to make money from his invention. This patent attorney saw his invention um, as an awesome idea. This man paid all this money to this man to represent him, but he was representing his own pocket. Low down, dirty, rotten, um, poof of air. <laughs> okay. A low down, dirty, rotten poof of air. Um, anyway, I'm going to go to the story that I want to cover, actually. Um, it says, an African tech startup industry unfairly titled towards foreigners. Okay, this is a story that is on uh, To Nacheki, which is an African news channel. Uh, they bring all types of news out of Africa. But um, in this, I'm going to leave you the link so that you can get all of the details for the story because uh, the guy who has actually been victimized in this, he is explaining everything that has happened. What I wanted to focus on is the fact that we are dealing with people who right now um, run the world and who are always talking about how others have lack of integrity, how others are dishonest and others are this, that, and the other. They have all of these narratives that they are putting out there about and against everyone else. But we continue to see stories like this uh, surface all of the time. Uh, some of the elements of the story that I did want to talk about in this video is how this bright and brilliant young man, and uh, of course some of you will say that he's not too bright or too brilliant to trust them to begin with. Okay, let's put that part aside for a moment. Um, his innovations, his hard work is what made all of this possible, okay? But when it was all said and done, Miss Becky and Miss Brad and all others that they decided to bring into this, they X'd him completely out. As a matter of fact, they said either you can resign or you can be removed, okay? either resign or remove either way it goes you're out of here okay even when he tried to take this to court they they, they didn't even care uh, the confidence that this becky had is that oh take it to court um we'll just let this thing get resolved because they already know that the system is in their favor but anyway there's going to be a video clip that they're going to show where when they are first uh, talking about this collaboration that they're having where the Becky is all goo goo eyed looking at him like she's so innocent like uh, she is uh, just excited to be a part of this with him okay um, I'm not going to answer that 
I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing here and then call them back. But um, anyway, this Becky is looking so puppy doggish and just like so innocent, like, oh, yeah, we're going to be doing this thing. And then he's explaining things and she is just kind of like um, standing there, probably at that moment where she was looking at him like this. It was probably already mapping out in her brain that we're going to X this, this man out of here. She was probably already planning and plotting at that moment, you see. Um, but yet, I'm going to tell y'all right now, you have to, uh, when any of you who are Gentiles or white that's looking at this, you need to help me understand why it is that you all are always accusing other people of the things that you do constantly. You're always accusing other people of having lack of integrity, other people of being violent, other people of being racist, other people of being uncouth and just all kinds of things, uncultured. Why do you all accuse people of things that are obviously traits that you all possess as well? And from a position of power, you try to project that onto everyone in a massive way where it pales in comparison. How do you sleep at night? I'm just curious. How do you sleep at night? And I know for you smart, Alex, you'll say, well, I just simply lay my head on the pillow and I close my eyes and I go to sleep. I know that's how you think. But it, it, it's like, um, I'm just going to tell you about myself. I couldn't sleep at night doing the, the wickedness that I see. And, and to get this, I know that it's not just so-called white people. Because I even question how do some black people sleep at night with some of the dirty, rotten, low down things that they do as well. So I like to be fair and balanced. But see, you all, you, you only look at the bad that others do. Now, you know it's coming from your end too. You know that your people are, but you all have this code of silence where you're not going to in mass. Okay, because okay, I know that there are a few, a few of you that will... Uh, point out the hypocrisy among your own, right? But in mass, you hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil when it comes to your own. You're like, um, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Like Piers Morgan, he's so funny. When he's being questioned um, as to the racism, racism that Meghan Markle had to endure, he tried to sit there and pretend like he didn't know what the heck this woman was talking about. And the woman who was on the panel, she wasn't a black woman either. She looked like she was probably Latino or something like that. But um, he actually tried to pretend like he didn't know what she, uh, well, what racism are you talking about? And she pointed out several examples and he said he still didn't see any racism. Even with the example of um, the, um, the monkey <laughs> um, being carried out saying that the royal family leaving the hospital you see how laughable these people are? It is just really a trip to me how you can sleep at night knowing that you're doing these really low down things to people. This young man, the man with the invention, you take the ingenuity of another person, the innovations of another person or other people, and you pass it off as your own. And without even blinking an eye, you X them completely out. Now, with this young man, they offered him severance pay, and um, he didn't accept it. So they said, well, you know what? Forget the severance pay. You get nothing then. How could this woman even sleep at night? That is one wicked person to be able to do something like that and, and just go and lay your head on the pillow as if nothing even took place. And if it was done to you, you know you couldn't take it. You know you couldn't take it. But... What goes around comes around. It looks like China is about to give the rest of the world a taste of the medicine that um, has been dished out by Western powers for a very long time. So right now you can get away with these kinds of things, but what goes around comes around. Karma is a trip, ain't it? I don't believe in karma. I believe it's judgment or the law of reaping and sowing, but you all call it karma. Uh, because it hasn't come back around so quickly on you all, you think you can keep on doing these things and that you'll continue to get away with it. But I have a feeling that you all fear China a little bit, maybe a lot. But um, anyway, that's my take on this story. Um, I can't stand the hypocrisy, but it is what it is. And um, 
that thing that has already gone around, trust me, is going to circle back around to you. And you, Becky and Brad, and all of you think you're getting away with stuff. When you draw your last breath and you close your eyes for the last time, some of you may not even believe in God, but it doesn't matter if you believe. You may not believe in heaven or hell. It doesn't matter if you believe. It is what it is. That's it. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.